Pardon me. Would you have any gray poupon? Well, you can do school or you can do drugs, but you really can't do both. Read Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard, the owner's manual for the human mind. Welcome back to Tim Butterly's show for, I, I mean, what, uh, another hour of ceramic-coated perfect joy. Our, our guest this, this fine afternoon is none other than one-third of the Do-Rag and the Deer Tag podcast. You can catch him crisscrossing this great country of ours, hanging out, opening for me on the road. He's a motherfucking destroyer. This guy poisoned his own mother with Windex help me, for help a me. very small social security check. He's terrible help with me. money. <laughs> Go crazy for Rob Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the sh- welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. God dang. Thanks for being on this side of the camera with us. This is it. We finished the full we got the full Pokemon set. We did all do rag and the deer tag. Yes. We got it out of the way early. Just like just fucking slanging like hanging meat, letting people know what's up. Uh, I'm fucking happy to be here, dude. Thanks for being with us, dude. Uh I I just caught you guys up on the yellow hat guy saying purple people eaters are coming to fucking y'all are crack. Cocaine slangers. 2009, 2010. 2009, 2010. Yeah, rats are going to come. The monkeys are going to fucking cut the penises off the little boys. I mean, mm. you guys uh, seeing this video for the first time is just, I mean. So you could feel yeah. what the woman feels. What a what a magical experience. Sure, that is kind of what they feel. <laughs> I Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate that guy speaking his truth. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. There was no lie. The, I, I do hope to be that free. Flow of consciousness goes crazy. Dude. Bro, the, the yeah. fact that he starts with, and just just a quick review. Where he starts, and everyone remembers this video. This oh, is the TV's off. Oh no! I want my I, did I knock the TV offline? Be back. I want my baby back. There it uh, is. Oh, audio is still coming through. Okay, the fact. I mean, just uh, if you haven't, if you haven't watched Big Butt Naked Wonder Big Brother Thunder and Master Blaster, if if you haven't watched this in a while, go back to it. But when he starts with, that's a thick finger. Oh, skateboard. Are, how long you been doing it? And then it ends with Monkeys is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's if, if I'm not mistaken, he he exposed peen. Yeah, he flipped bird on the camera. I mean the the, the it's one of the greatest journeys of all time. And it's just wow, what an honor it is to share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it happened in uh, our backyard. Yeah, yeah. That's like ten minutes from my house. Oh, some um, some more business. I so I had to I had to leave you guys behind this weekend so I could go open for Lewis in Florida. Yes. And I I ran into our our tremendous friend, contemporary Sherm. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No, I have a I have a gift from the homie for you. No, you're kidding. You're yeah, kidding. Yeah. Oh, you ready? He makes these <laughs> he makes these tremendous uh uh yes. this wood these wood block paintings. These plywood paintings. So fucking good, dude. It's sick. That's and it's, me. It's a that perfect beautiful. It's a perfect render. He's done a bunch of them of us, and this is the best one so far, I think. And it says, brother, you have no idea how many dicks are painted over there. <laughs> Pass that down. Wow. Can you believe that? <laughs> so I'm saying it looks just like me. Cherish that. I just cut my hair, so it doesn't look too much like me, but... It will seem. Oh, the haircut looks great, by the way. Let's take a moment and recognize Noah's haircut. Wow. Thank you, thank you. I just cut it myself. And you Tim, did a great job. And Tim, wow. Who, is me? that a haircut? Is oh, that a haircut oh, who, who, I me? see oh, who, This old thing? Is Two that new a dudes. Did you just this get that? It. This is it, dude. It's This is the new era. Whoa. This is the first step toward you getting jacked. I'm, I think I'm going to get there. I was, you know, I haircut think, will do that. Thank I'm, God we didn't clip our, thank we didn't pull up the clippers and buzz ourselves. Yeah, you know. During the many nights where it was the only thing crossing our minds. Yeah, and, and here we are, just with two nice haircuts. And here we are, the most perfect gentlemen. Let's the, go. Per, the most perfect sweet boys who ever lived. Damn. It, it Eat our shit and suck our dicks, dude. Yeah, dude. But what, uh, what made the you guys get cut, cut dude? Did, did you need a change or there was just too many, I thought they were both solid dudes just too to many with. cool dudes online with like long hair and a kind of like a scruffy facial hair situation and I just said it's time to fucking hit the eject button man you know yeah. it's getting saturated that was I mean that's my thing 
Yeah, it, no, it looks probably more, donated uh, his to a, a horse cancer farm. <laughs> I wish. After I cut it, my they're girlfriend. Putting, they're putting fake tails on horses going through chemotherapy. <laughs> one of those got no hair. That would be my dream. That'd be so nice. When I right after I cut it, we saw the pile on the floor. My girlfriend was like, "You could have like donated that to Locks of Love or something." And it's like, yeah, right. Get your own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <this is> fucking, <laughs> fucking loser. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking flush it You're down the fucking, toilet. I'm gonna mail something to a bald person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'm using this for soup. <laughs> I'm making oh, soup. Have you guys ever had hair soup? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn, did the people know that Noah makes with the soup? That's all he does. Is soup. Dude, I've, I just made a bunch of new stock. I made chanka for the boys. Yeah, dude, that shit oh was so God. nice. Oh, dude, I had matzo ball soup last night. Oh, <laughs> the forbidden, that, the forbidden soup. Oh, the forbidden soup. That is the for forbidden me, soup. Oh, it was so good. I said. Nom, 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 nom. Jesus yeah, I mean, that, that shit is so nice. That, that was probably the only uh, Jewish food I really fucked with. I didn't fuck with the gefilte fish. No, that shit sucks. There's like hidden gems in Jewish food that is good. Kreplok, you ever fuck with a kreplok? No, I, I fucked with the little challah. Oh, challah, delicious. Arguably the best bread. I, I would say it rivals wine. Hall's oh, uh, the, the only good thing that they could do. You ever fuck the rest with the rest that stuff's weird. <laughs> yeah, and you ever, you ever have, uh, yeah, free wheat. You ever have a uh, kreplok? No, crep what lock, is a crep no. lock? Crep lock is like a, like a, just like a dumpling. It's like a Jewish dumpling. Really good. Just like, you know, like. You know that that sounds good? like you're describing me. <laughs> <laughs> regular dumplings are good. True. Yeah. You know? I mean, they basically are regular dumplings. They're just and, like Jewish and version. you can eat a regular dumpling without funding a genocide, you know? Yeah, I guess Facts. so. But it's like, what if you f support it? Not me. No, not me. Oh. No, never me. Oh, just me? <laughs> I have, uh, I have some, I have some fun stuff to share with you guys Please. in the chamber. Um, first of all, let's, let's start with this week's, actually, you know what? No. Can I, can I share a little, a quick story I, that crossed my mind as, and I meant to talk about it before I, I gave the, uh, Sherm gift. Please. When I was in Tampa, the nicest place in the entire world with the night, the, I, I've never had so many people be friendly to me before, but, uh, Sherm also gave me the, uh, the Dreamcast soccer jersey mm -hmm. that I have. Oh, that's sweet. And then he hooked me up with another jersey this weekend. It was, uh, it had a, it was a yellow, I forget, I don't even remember the fucking team. It's probably the same team. It's probably Arsenal. But it was, um, a yellow jersey Sega logo, the blue Sega logo, and, like, Sonic the Hedgehog was, like, standing on the end of it. Oh, so, is that the one that, uh, you posted with, uh, Jericho? Yeah, so, I, I, I wore it the next night, fucking... Uh, I find out, and I, I already blabbed a little bit about this on fucking Demi, but like I need, I can't overstate the impact. I saw Jericho walk into the, Chris Jericho walks into the show. I, I completely, so the, it's yeah. the only time I've ever been like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm so nervous. And, and anyway, he, uh, and he's like a regular at that club. Yeah, he just show, he just likes going out. He he brings his wife and and I think there was a couple other wrestlers and their wives. And, but I didn't I didn't know I could I would, I would be pretending if I if I acted like I knew who they were. Undertaker wasn't there. Not this time, but mm. I mean, you can imagine, dude. Oh, dude. Oh my God, can you imagine if during if I as part of my crowd work I got thrown off the hell in a cell? <laughs> By God, so soon, dude, right into the table. But yeah, he he heckled me about the Sega jersey, and it was like a fun moment, and I didn't know it was him. And afterwards, I asked him for a picture. He said, I was the second guy. And I said, no way, dude. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, that's so nice. It's the coolest thing that's ever happened to oh, me so far. That's so sick. I like that a dude that's got everything going on is cool to everyone. Mm. That's he, the, he that's the have coolest to be cool thing to, you. to be. Oh, yeah. And it would be so much funnier if he was like a dickhead. Yeah. If yeah. he was a dickhead, it would be, I mean. I, I don't know wrestling that well. Was he a heel or? He did but, everything. Yeah. He, was, yeah. he did he was everything. the best. He, All right. And it didn't matter. And he would go like company to company, and everywhere he showed up, he was just like a cool dude. Is he in a band? Fozzie. Yeah, Fozzie. Yeah. Are they righteous? I mean, as righteous as a fucking guy with brain damage can be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty sick. <laughs> They're good enough, dude. <laughs> the coolest ever. And, uh, but yeah, I, I, just another moment that our good friend Contemporary Sherm was a part of. That's a beautiful moment. Yeah. Oh, you, cool. you had him in Tampa, and then you had um, in uh, Raleigh. Cliffy B in Raleigh. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, you're meeting your heroes. This is n I'm, well, I'm you like me, Cliffy B. I dude, I hope someday I look back and I realize that I was doing it. This is when I was doing. You mm -hmm. know, when I was really waiting for like it to start working out, it was already kind of working. Yeah. Who would have thought that jokes are the key to the world? Dude? <laughs> I mean, my God, the thing, the sights I've seen. Wow. All right. So anyway, that now that we're done being gay, let's shift the focus to this is a, a new week, a new dumb, dumb bitch thing. 
And you know me, guys. Is there anything better than just fucking dumb bitch stuff? No. Is there anything better than women fucking eating it? You know, they 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 stumble and and fall all, and like a flip flop comes off. Yeah, notoriously yeah. clumsy. Women fail. Well, one of my favorite. The you know what got got me started on like uh, fail compilations was woman bloopers too on YouTube <laughs> like thirteen years ago. They put together woman. It was and it was I was like, dude, there's deeper water than America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. We, we could just do and uh, this is its own channel. And now it fucking is. Dang, all right, it runs off is good. All right, so here's a dumb bitch at work. Ready? <clears throat> And just fucking is that uh, a Wendy's? It's not working. Yank! Oh, <laughs> oh. No! She got yanked into the fucking orange juicer. What is that? I don't know what kind of equipment that is, but damn. My, my first thought was like a milkshake machine. Yeah, is that why they don't fucking? <gasps> oh, oh yeah, it's the spinning thing that mixes the milkshakes. She was yeah. making a, probably a flurricane, if I had to guess. <laughs> a might be... flurricane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, <laughs> and then ugh. oh no. <laughs> They, all this time, I thought they just didn't want to clean it. That's why they didn't make with the ice cream. But it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. At every McDonald's, there's a woman stuck in the ice cream machine. Uh, <laughs> damn. She has really strong roots, though. Her hair did not get yoinked. Well, to be fair, it did get all of her hair at the same time. Yeah. And... Oh, oh man. <laughs> Do you think her boyfriend does that to her all the time? That's why she's just kind of like chilling. She's, yeah, she's, she's coming down. right she's now. She's a big grip. She get the fuck <laughs> she's over here. Busting in her <laughs> she's Starbucks busting. uniform. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Uh, if oh, that machine oh. could talk, uh, she, <laughs> there wouldn't be a boyfriend. <laughs> I hear you. I see you. <laughs> Do you think she's like out cold? She might be out cold. That's why she's not really freaking out. No. Is she that really, an ice cream she joke? She <laughs> Uh, I can't hear. No, women, uh, they, um, they have no idea what to do in this kind of situation. She doesn't even know to stop, like, to resist it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't resist it. Then, then it'll yeah. yank. Then it'll yank. I mean, reach for a button or a plug or something. She's just, ah! uh, um, Damn, machines really are replacing us, man. Because <laughs> the, millions of years ago, it was clubs. Now it's. <laughs> Damn. Damn, she's like a deer mm. in the headlights. I mean, this is this is it. A bitch in the ice cream wheel. <laughs> the tale is old as time. Mm -hmm. We want to take a quick second to thank our newest sponsor, Kush Life. Kush Life is the highest quality THCA you can buy right now, and they'll deliver it directly to your doorstep. THCA is fully legal in 45 plus states and has the same psychoactive effects as THC when heated. So just about any way you consume it. Kush Life doesn't sell that Delta 8 and Delta 9 junk either. Only the highest quality premium THCA cannabis. They have a great selection too. All the strains you know, Gelato, Runtz, Gary Payton, and more. The guys at Kush Life are working on a very special strain for everyone here at Good Boy and you guys out there. So stay tuned for special lines of Bud. Along with traditional Buds, check out their prices on Moon Rocks and ask them about Kush Soda, which is set to release this spring too. So support all the shows here and check out KushLifeStore.com. Use the promo code KUSHLIFE15 for 15% off your order with fast and discreet shipping. Try kushlifestore.com once and you'll never go further than your mailbox for great cannabis again. Now, I was, I was, uh, this, now, uh, uh, damn. Yeah, because the uh, McDonald's and shit, I, uh, I, I got Grubhub the other day. It was like three in the morning. McDonald's is like the most clutch move you can do because they're, them and like Wawa are like the only ones open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I order, uh, uh, McFlurry or whatever. They don't make with the McFlurry. And that that really really bothered me. Yeah, I'd be pissed. because late at night when you have an expectation for food and it's not met, it really hurts. It's like when a roommate eats your leftovers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's really heartbreaking stuff. It's a very specific type of disappointment. Yes, it requires like a German word. I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But to have but to do that late night and then there's a sweet treat with it and then that's taken that's like taken away. They literally took the cherry off the top. Yeah. Yeah, like the the cap to your entire day, and then you you've already right. gone through the mental anguish of justifying a sweet treat at, like at four a.m. And you've you've already you've climbed through the basic training course of your mind to just give yourself enough grace to be able to have a fucking McFlurry, and then they don't bring it, and it's like I knew I was wrong. I knew I do suck. I know I didn't deserve that. Right, you but know? when you make the decision to do something bad, and then you can't even do it. Yeah, uh, no, all you're left good. with is you do the mental state of the decision. You're yeah. like, I do deserve this. That's why I'm getting it, and then it doesn't come. The whole day is a loss, dude. It's reduced to a red X on a calendar. It's That's really it. fucked up. That's a bummer, man. Just have to go to, to go bed, just depressed, dude. I'm so sorry. So thank you. <laughs>
I mean, maybe, maybe that's what a, happened. Was that at the McDonald's? <laughs> it could have been. Maybe this will cheer you up. So I don't know. If, do you, either of you know who Timothy Birmingham is? No. Okay. I stumbled upon this video and uh, the subject was in this clip from one of Timothy Birmingham's vlog. I don't know who he is, by the way, but I, I gathered from the headline that he's a vlogger. He begins the video expressing surprise that his wife, Penny, is still asleep. Tragically, unbeknownst to him, his wife had passed away in her sleep. Oh, my God. And bro. before, so uh, I had, I do have a quick little article up um, because I, I, I want to see if you guys have the same reaction I had to the video, but I, I'm going to kind of uh, grease the wheels here. Um, so who is Timothy Birmingham wife? No, every, so this is an AI generated article. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm realizing now. But. It sounds like this guy was a vlogger and his wife died and it was very tragic and everyone, everyone, his story is a story of, uh, like triumph and hope and, and, you know, uh, coming back from this, uh, unbelievable tragedy, right? Took yeah. a couple of L's. He's got a documentary, maybe. Wait, which is great for the brand. I mean. That, that sympathy play, dude? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But now, watch this video and tell me, tell me I'm crazy. Tell me that it doesn't seem like this guy is overselling the wife that the fact that his wife slept in. Here okay. You go. Let me turn it off. She's still sleeping. <laughs> and she's still sleeping. And about twelve o'clock. Setting an alibi. Yeah. And here's picture of today's newspaper. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's name. <laughs> yeah, she's sleeping away. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Amazing, she's just sleeping in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my I wife? Sleeping sleep the day away. She's up at being on her computer or doing something, but uh, she must be tired. <laughs> must be tired. You used to tell me I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> Here on this wonderful Tuesday. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. I was going on a hike all morning, so I wasn't around the house yeah. at all. Is, it, is, is there is there footage of him finding her? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I, I assume that would have been included, but it's. I mean, it does a. It does, my yeah. wife, who is alive, obviously. I don't even know why I brought that up. She is sleeping in. It's just abnormal. This is crazy. At, at first, I, I thought this was uh, Liver King. I did that. Was, this I, is alcoholic liver king. This is kidney king. Dude. I think I. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I clicked on it, uh, assuming I it have was a spleen liver. speech. <laughs> so I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the, this uh, it, what? It is suspicious. He's like, here's the time. Yeah, look at the clock here. Here's definitely this is me. Very clear. This is the time of day. Look at the position of the sun in the sky. And can you believe my wife is oversleeping? This is how. Cr uh, I'm gonna check on her. I'll give her like 15 more minutes. Uh, but she is alive. I know that much. And uh, sure. in the description, it says unbeknownst to him. No, no one says unbeknownst, uh, unbeknownst, unless they're lying. Tragically, unbeknownst. Yeah, that's how lawyers uh, sneak untruths. Yes. Into filings. So I mean, he definitely did. All right. So let's just <laughs> let's just ask. Did Timothy Birmingham? We we can't be the first people to think this. Oh, uh, maybe we are. Hmm. Or I guess. Wow. Wow. I guess. Okay. Maybe we, this was a good man, and he doesn't deserve this. <laughs> yeah. I guess we got to see the rest of the content. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, who knows? Maybe a five minute video. Excuse me. Can I just be alone with this for a second? <laughs> mm. That is a queen. I thought I thought I clicked on a video. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. A bunch of weird shit. Okay. Um. I, <laughs> why is the why wait why was this notable enough to be on here and then the information is so scant? You know. What what uh? He's just a vlogger. He's just a lifestyle I guess brand. So what the hell? Well, I mean. Oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe he took all his shit down. Maybe she really, maybe it really was tragic that she died, and we're not supposed to be joking about this. <laughs> Whoops. 
I think there's humor in everything. She passed away of unknown causes. Mm. Yeah, like a pillow to the face. Here we go. Is it the same thing? Fuck! This is on me. This is on me, guys. I mean... Hmm. But Can you check it, the Wayback Machine? The, there is something about this where it's like he he must have found her dead right after this, I can assume, but he still posted this. Yeah. And that's uh, weird. Yeah, I'm I'm confused. I'm extremely confused. Okay. Oh, this is your guy. He makes soup. Ooh. No, then there's no way that this guy killed his wife. Oh, his name's <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Timothy Birmingham? Pretty close to Tim Butterly, dude. No, he's Ooh, more Tim like, Birmingham. You know, he's making Tim a Butterly. soup. This looks like your kitchen. Yeah, and he uh, but he had a wife. He probably kept the wife bones something you for do. broth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check his freezer, dude. <laughs> oh, he killed her. That's his wife? Oh, man. He's so lost without her. Can't imagine who would even do this kind of thing. My wife's still dead. Uh, if I was his dandy dubs, I, I would put three days grace over this. <laughs> I tear my heart open. <laughs> I sell myself short. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, man. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just what a very funny, sp suspicious video to put up. Uh, condolences uh, and uh, God bless the memory of Penny Birmingham. It's just, you know, yeah, I, I can, maybe I, I, I care too much about Penny Birmingham. And, and you know what? It, it's rare that you see um, uh, where the wife uh, struck above her league. I feel like he's hotter than her. <laughs> no, no. He just has the beard. No, look at the pictures of him without the beard. He's fucking atrocious yeah. looking. Yeah. Yeah, they both don't look too great. Yeah, I think that they they were kind of made for each other. But okay. then he thought he could shoot above his league because he became a, a blogger. A vlogger on TikTok. Right. So he's like, I'm fucking better than this fucking frumpy bitch. I can, I can fuck fucking sixes. Yeah, true. Six and a half. Six is huge. Not this, not this three. Yeah. Not this fat three. Fashion all his vlogging clout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, a fat three sounds like an Anthony Fantino Tano rating. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give the new Post Malone uh, light to fat three. <laughs> the first comment is, I lost my first wife about eight years ago. I was going camping in the middle of bumfuck nowhere with some friends visiting from back east. Three, three, fa three days in the woods, I guess. My wife knew how to find me. The first night I was gone, she was hit and killed by a drunk driver. I had no cell service, so it wasn't until two days later when we started coming home that I turned on my phone and it exploded with over 200 texts. She died about 45 minutes after making it to the ER. I was the last to find out. Her parents had already... Oh my God, that's so brutal, but... I mean... Imagine... Yeah, horrible stuff. Imagine, imagine pulling into the driveway... After the fucking sickest camping weekend ever with there's, the homies. There's flowers on your porch. Just what the hell? There's a lot, a lot of ribbons in the tree. I don't remember that. <laughs> is, it yeah. someone, is it someone's birth? Is it Easter? <laughs> yeah, did someone is plop they, this cross on my lawn? Is today <laughs> Easter? For <laughs> <laughs> no. He checks his calendar and his phone. He's like, there's nothing. What the fuck is this? Rest in peace, yeah. Barb. Did she, did she pull out a prank on me? <laughs> is it Halloween? <laughs> or is this Halloween decorations? Is she, is she uh, sleeping in? <laughs> <laughs> We're sleeping an awful she, long time. It, it, it is she's Sunday. So <laughs> <laughs> she's never sleeping in <laughs> like this. Damn, yeah. I and mean, I was camping. Look, I have the pictures of me in the woods with the bros. Hmm. The waterfall. That hmm. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, never me, dude. Never <laughs> <mean>. me. <laughs> yeah, you can't find the me grace of dead God. wife. Seriously, by the grace of God, never me. Man. Oh my god, I, this is what I hate though, when people start sucking people off for being so brave. Let me say the obvious, I'm a stranger. I'm of course proud of you and what you've overcome. I can relate because I have my own periodic demons. I was in a cult most of my life. I've had booze. He's like, shut the Whoa. fuck up, dude. <laughs> my partner and I sometimes take each other for granted. Blah, blah, blah. Point is, no bullshit. I don't know you. I'm not even in a position to be proud of you because of that. But I promise you, in this space, right here, right, right now, now, I'm so very proud of what you were doing. <laughs> dude. Whoa. For Yo, being, seriously, for get having a, a dead wife? Get but a I, fucking grip, dude. But I guess if you're uh, that guy that's speaking your truth on Reddit, think about the space you're in to tell that story on Reddit. Like right here, right now, you know? Yeah, and the, to have someone tell that in that space right here, right now, yeah. <laughs> that, I'm that, that probably means so a lot. I'm so fucking proud of you right now. Because, um... I don't I'll know, man. Into, Just uh, go scream your story at the gas station. 
Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm a, I'm mostly an observer on Reddit. Yeah, me too. Um, and uh, I, I'm a beginner. It's mostly like the introductory Reddit's like r slash movies. And yeah, it's like almost that. all fake too. Yeah, it's almost all not real people. Yeah, but that, you, you'll see people like pretty passionate, and I'll, I'll get passionate reading it, but I can't get in the minds uh, the mind space to engage no no you never engage there's the yeah. you you don't that, have the part of your brain where you go uh here ha, have my gold you know enjoy <laughs> yeah. and you don't have you don't have the wow this blew up thanks for the reddit gold gene right and thank god that's a good thing like you don't want you don't want that yeah the i guess the, the most i contribute to the internet is podcasts but not comments. And co contribute is a word people might fight you on. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I the, don't know. The, the most I do at least on the can, internet. At least the do can, is a better word. We can prove we're real at least, you know? We can prove we're not bots. We're not Chinese bots. We could be in the middle. Fair. We could be you in know? the universe. If you prick me, do I not bleed? You know? Yeah, true. These people aren't even real. These This is AIs uh complimenting each other for bravery while like maybe a real person here or there gets tricked and then as soon as they engage they get hit with like a fucking like fake girlfriend uh request and they sh their shit gets stolen yeah <laughs> but yeah thank you for your story man it's so fucking brave can't believe it take my upvote please please sir humbly accept my vote for winning the internet this day yes <laughs> with your dead wife <laughs> <laughs> damn if my wife ever died I, first of all I would be so pissed if my wife ever died but I do think I would be the best dead wife guy ever That. Well, what's your approach day one Ooh, I don't know I guess I haven't really thought are you making a forever. post maybe okay I, my first pick someone would have to stop me from doing this but if my wife died I would do a really grandiose public suicide Oh, that day like uh like I'm actually, I might even kill someone else. I might do a murder suicide at City Hall. When, Ooh, in honor that'd be of, good. In honor of the memory, the everlasting memory of my wife, I would shoot the mayor and then kill myself. <laughs> That's, That's good. good. That's good. <laughs> Isn't that so romantic? That is romantic. Do you, do you have any plans for the kids? Them? Uh, uh, no. You have a sister, you know. You yeah. Ship them off. They can go to Aunt Jack's house, or honestly, I think they would kill themselves too. That's good. No, would you kill them? Would it be like no? Nah, uh, I don't think I would we're, kill we're, them because people hate mommy getting bad. They hate that. <laughs> they hate when they you, when you kill them. So but you're, you're saying this is a legacy play. My wife's like a pharaoh. We're all gonna be buried together. If she dies, we're all dying, and we're all gonna be buried together. Yeah, it's gonna be cool as hell, dude. That is cool. I like I've, that. I've uh, commissioned a uh, a, a two hundred unit uh, terracotta uh, little tiny bitch army <laughs> to be crafted in her memory and buried with us. So, you know, she'll be protected in the afterlife, at least. That's so romantic. Yeah, <laughs> that is what matters. She'll be surrounded by terracotta sluts in the afterlife, at least. What's terracotta? Like the soldiers, you know, like the that, Chinese soldiers yeah, like those, in the tomb? Those, like, clay soldiers or whatever. Mm. Yeah. You'd I like, like that, that stuff. You'd like it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. It sounds like something I would like. That's what you got to do. That's what yeah. you got to do for your bitch. No, I like that. I have, dude, I'm full of fucking uh, relationship advice. People don't understand that about me. It's like they just think I'm some fucking idiot who's being followed around by a little crazy woman. No, dude, I put the work in. I yeah. figured this stuff out. Well, how long have you guys been together? We just celebrated our 15th wedding anniversary. Wow. Beautiful. Been together uh, 18 years. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. I was uh I was actually I was reading I was reading another post. Uh I wasn't gonna bring it up just because it might just be dull, but I think this might be fun. Or maybe it'll maybe it'll even more importantly, this might be informative. Let me let me yank this back up for you guys. Okay. So uh I right now one of the hot uh like genres of post is um and I don't know if this is just right now or if this is permanent, but it's a lot of people asking, you know, what would I be the asshole if I got a divorce for this reason? <clears throat> or if, you know, and it's always like they try to they try to snag you with like a maybe a bait and switch headline. Mm -hmm. And so I I saw one uh that I I think I think I want to. I think I want to chat about this for just a second. Would I be the asshole if I tell my wife that I want a divorce if she doesn't start initiating sex? Okay. She doesn't start initiating sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
I'm going to assume this guy's a gamer. Mm. I'm going to assume a guy, this guy's a gamer. Well, uh, uh, I obviously haven't read it. Is the concern that he's the only one initiating and he doesn't feel desired? Because that that's a kind of, concern. Kind of, but I even have I even got the answer for those guys. And okay. So okay. So all right. So there are here's the circumstances of this one. Since the birth of our youngest three years ago, our sex life has been near dead. So the my, child's three. Yeah, the youngest is three, and it sounds like they have more. Um, as my wife simply seems uninterested. I would guess we have had sex about five times per year since then, and all those times I feel she did it out of obligation. She didn't seem to enjoy it very much, and as such, neither did I, and it only added to my discontent. She has not once initiated anything resembling sexual intimacy for the past three years. I have brought up I have brought up the topic many times. The main reason she gets dude. Now here's the one thing I I I personally know like I've I've seen this play out for people and I see a lot of posts about this stuff. But like there's a thing that happens and and I don't know if like this happens in dating, but I know that dudes do this in marriage where they have to have a conversation with their wife about like like make with the pussy. <laughs> 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 yeah where they go like hey look the, the amount of sex we're having isn't enough <laughs> and it's just like you yeah. know, imagine being a wife though and the fucking <laughs> the fat pussy that you married and i'm saying I, i'm saying like yo dude i'm i'm throwing myself in the pool too imagine the fat pussy that you married who and now you have kids and you're you're wiped out you're both wiped out from having kids but like you know you're wiped out he's coming to you and his his daily routine is he he works some job that mostly makes him complain he's like physically out of shape he comes home he plays video games he he jumps on like an xbox live party with his boys until like either dinner time or he waits until after dinner time and then does it until the kids go to bed and then he takes the headset off and he's just like are you ever gonna fucking kiss me (laughs) you know what i mean yeah well there there is a and now and now he's like it's not enough. <laughs> I think all my boys are having more sex than me, and I think we should too. So th- this is like a, it's like when is enough enough? Like your your life is already pretty sick. Yeah, but like I, here's here's the thing, and now now I'm gonna now I'm gonna throw my hat in. Now I'm gonna consider I'm gonna present myself as a uh, a marital sexuality expert. The 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 dude is like, oh, it's bedtime. Are we gonna have, like? He starts to equate. Having sex with jacking off, like, oh. like uh, right before bed. This is about time that we should try to have sex with each other. You haven't engaged with each other all night. You've barely made eye contact outside of like, uh, you know, uh, do we have paper towels, like that kind of thing. And then you're like, oh, sex time. Let's go try. Let's go see if we can have some sex. <laughs> Start like kissing her, and she's like, what are you like? You're just vaguely annoyed. I, I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. It, it's more like um, checklist stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to get pussy. Nobody want to put the work in. That's what Next. I'm saying. You, dude. You seriously need to be. You need to start acting like in your mind. Create a caricature of a uh, sexually aggressive Latino, and then you need to act like that to your wife at all times. <laughs> you need to be seriously yeah. in Pepe Le Pew mode. <laughs> yeah. Or the spark will die. Do you think a fair question to ask yourself is what I fuck me? Oh, for sure, but. No, because I'm not gay. So, Damn. you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, they got me again. <laughs> yeah. You should yeah, you should you should the, the golden rule applies, I guess, to it as well. But like, bro, you got to be fucking you got to be a fucking real pervert to your lady. You got to be you got to go really you got to almost annoy her. You have to borderline annoy her with affection. Then he didn't say how long they were married, right? Just how he- No. Just Damn. how old they're They're only having sex is. five times per year. So he's just like, babe, seriously. That every very every low. What is that? Five times. So like not even every month. Not even every two months. Not even every two months. It's like almost this is almost quarterly. And that quarterly pussy? That quarterly pussy, the best pussy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably nice though. That's Damn, but it sounds like he, he's not even uh, really cherishing five times oh yeah and then here's yeah he doesn't he's not enjoying them because she's not trying she's not riding me like in porn dude she's not fucking doing reverse cowgirl on me and she knows that's my preference (laughs) it's not even like a fetish it's just like yo that's that's how i like to feel affection and she won't fucking give it to me 
Um, it's uh, hold on. Oh, it's at the point where I feel like a sexual predator. Yeah, it's like, all right, well then use it, dude. <laughs> Rub your fucking wiener on her butt crack when you're squeezing past her in the kitchen. Yeah. Do this literally every time. That that yeah, I think that actually would help. She has not once initiated anything resembling sexual intimacy for the past three years. It's like, yeah, dude, because you're not fucking, you're not being a fucking Latino. You're not being a Puerto Rican to her. So with, with you, do, do you uh, leave sexy hints throughout the day? <laughs> Bro, I don't make a move unless it could be misconstrued as a sexual advance. Do you know what I mean? I don't, okay. do, I don't do a single thing around my wife that she couldn't mistake as an op- as being open to sexual intercourse. Can you dude. give an example, please? Uh, yeah, like uh, the the kitchen thing's a big one. If you're if you're passing each other in the house, you act as though there's only enough room for you to squeeze your penis across her butt crack as you pass her, and you say, "Excuse me, ma." That's a great one. Excuse me, ma. Like yeah, like you're at the club. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you hand yeah. her something, uh, grab her hand and maintain eye contact too long, and then slide your hand off and let go. That's and then, beautiful. yeah, and then uh, you should you should hug your you should hug your girlfriend every time you pet like you're even close enough. If you're within the arms, you should hug her, and then also like well, uh, t- tickle her neck with your beard and face until she goes stop. What are you doing? Seriously, it's like you want to know what I'm doing every time. You go what? I'm not doing anything. I'm just fucking. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? And you play stupid. But this guy uh, said this it. guy is not doing that. He says. Uh, I've he said just I've tried being generally complimentary toward her. There we go. Yeah, look, 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 hey, look. Uh, nice tits today. Yeah, <laughs> check it out. I've brought up the topic many times. The main reason she gives is being tired due to work and kids, or that she simply doesn't know why she doesn't want sex. She denies becoming asexual, losing attraction to me, or getting fulfillment elsewhere. Are you just asexual, you bitch? <laughs> why would you fuck You me? have to tell me. I see her getting wet looking at the toaster. <laughs> Can I tell you what my move is? Yeah, please. She's exiting the kitchen, and I purposely get in her way, mm. and she tries to like go around, and then I grab her, do a dance move, the twirl, Ooh, the dip, dip, and then uh. I go to kiss her, and then I push her away by her hips. Yeah. Ooh. You tease. Yeah. yeah. You say I mustn't, and you have it's a rose in your mouth. Fabio dubs. <laughs> that, that, that's very romantic. <laughs> that is very romantic. My ass got wet. This, this is what he said that, that let me know he's not getting it done. I try my best to be understanding. I make it a point to generally compliment her. I give her loads of time off while I take care of the kids. Nothing changes. I have asked her if there's anything more I can do for her. He, so he's trying to cash in good boy points, basically. Yeah. You know? He's trying to cash in good boy points for sex, and he's going, I got enough saved up. You know, I haven't spent them on anything. I wanted that yo-yo, but I passed it. Just <laughs> I, to get yeah. pussy. What's going I on? I said, I'll delay gratification, and this Friday night I will have sex after my wife comes home from having fun with her friends and then just sees me fucking playing an Xbox in the dark. <laughs> I'm super curious of, one, how old he is, two, where he's from. Um, Let's see. He's probably using a burner because my wife is on Reddit and she'll know. You know? Yeah, because I feel like there are certain areas you can grow up where it's just like oh he, who even thinks about that stuff like i i, I do my job he's posting like i i kind of gave you kids. Languages, really. like what do you want he's a danish guy he's in denmark jesus yeah. christ oh jesus wow could you imagine sexually disappointing a is, does that count as european yeah Ouch. is that a nordic country yeah. aren't know. they supposed to be the happiest i don't know but that, that's where they uh have Maybe. top of pyramid fulfillment yeah, I, I heard in in terms of a hierarchy of needs. But I also heard that pussy get mighty cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. she's out there in the fucking fjords all day. You know, you can't get moist. That thing will fucking freeze and shatter. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, dude, the, this is definitely depressing. I know, and there's just so much of it out there. I mean, it, it's a fun. Uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll get caught in uh, rabbit holes like this where i just uh read sad stories claudia is super into uh true crime and then that gets me sad so i really uh, i really need like upbeat shit or fantasy fantasy sci-fi it's, it's up to you my entertainment is the move for me is your girlfriend sexually aroused by true crime at all or does it put a damper on things N- no, I don't think it's a sexual arousal. I think does it pr- does it uh I think it's a general lady thing. 
Yeah, I was gonna say though, but does it does it like uh, become like some sort of uh, detriment to sex, like a like an anti? You know what I mean? Because it's the just detriment to details. sexual stuff. Yeah, I had to I I had to get us out of true crime. I had to How true crime cleanse this? our household. Well, every time it was like, ooh, a seven-part documentary about kids that were raped in a basement for 19 yeah. years. I would go, yeah, I just don't know if we're going to be able to stay awake through it. Let's just put something else on and you fucking watch American Dead instead, dude. Yeah. It's brutal. If, you're, if your nighttime routine is the newest episode of, you know, uh, the torture documentary, it's going to dry up, man. It's going to yeah. dry up. <laughs> the... But it's weird though. So I can't do like the rape stuff, the murder stuff, but I can get into cult stuff. I can. I can get into any of it. I'm just saying that if you sit down to watch that shit together, she it's like, sorry, man. You know, she's gonna be tired. <laughs> yeah. You know? Do you the, do you feel it has that kind of impact? I when I watch it, I'm like, I'm doing a really cool thing right now. Uh but what a nice thing I'm doing going through this. For her, <laughs> for her, or for the victims, not for her to watch. Her, this. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're white knuckling the program itself? Yes, and she's just um, she loves it. She loves it. Yeah, so that, the, she, she, I think she finds it interesting. She's trying <laughs> to solve it. <laughs> Wait, so your your nerves are fried by the time it's over, and you can't have sex anyway. <laughs> you're, yeah. just, you're, you're white knuckling your hair i mean your hair's blown back and you're just like that was pretty interesting <laughs> yeah yeah can we go to bed please? can we keep the light on i think the only way i can uh really pay attention to it if it's like a, a culturally relevant doc that everyone's talking about mm. and i'll be like well at least i can like talk about this but no part of me enjoys it mm. because the the point of entertainment to me is to like escape. your job is to make them escape <laughs> yeah. your job as an entertainer is to make them fucking uh, to, to, to make them like that that is my job i'm not doing my job unless you forget all your worries unless yeah unless you go to a place that you're, you've you never imagined before then you haven't been entertained dude yes yeah i don't know i don't think it's entertainment either <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, in a uh, I'm in a rotten mood because one of the kids did something bad yesterday put my wife in a bad mood and that's why i'm so fired up right now so you're pussyless I wouldn't fucking. I would never say that. Never me, actually. That did. Did you find yourself after you got less fat, you were fucking more? Mm. Hmm. Good question, Rob. Maybe, but I was also just a a un, unskilled husband when I was fat. So I don't know if I would uh, correlate it to me. Uh, like really, like tapping into being a family man. Or if it was because I'm fucking jacked and hot now, you yeah. know. Well, the, there's a there's a, there's an energy component. Yeah, but when you're fat, you just have less energy. Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, oh. And I I think uh, sometimes when I initiate it, that that I would say this is like the heaviest I've been. I think there is an element of like, who am I, dude? Yeah. Who am I? You need to be humble. That this fat pussy just grabbing her tits. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'd be so pissed, <laughs> dude. I, uh, I, uh, uh, we we got high and we watched the new Hunger Games movie, and it sent me through a spiral spiral where I'm like, yo, I'm a fed pussy. <laughs> all Good. these people fighting for their life. Yeah, and uh, I, I I made the decision to eat taquitos in the bed. <laughs> And I'm watching this just too high. When I get too high, I spiral out, and it really fucked with me, dude. Yeah, watching a uh, like uh, a, it, a peak physical specimen teenager throw spears at people. Yeah, just, in an just, electric dome. Yeah, that hurts. Watching survival stuff. The the fattest you ever been eating taquitos next to a lady with fat tits is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Uh, yeah, I mean, it I, is, I'm making changes, man. It's. <laughs> That is the the Jack Nicholson fantasy. Yeah, it is kind of the coolest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. You're the king, man. Yeah, maybe I should exercise gratitude. Yeah, maybe you should ask her to feed you grapes. Yeah, certain <laughs> cultures that is like gluttony. <laughs> no, that's king shit. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's like don't no, get so it. down on yourself. You're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey, you're great. I think anyone should be humble. 
I'm not saying you specifically. I yeah. I still I still show up with my fucking hat over my heart saying, man, please. Yeah. You know? It, you, you look at your lady like it's the Pledge of Allegiance. You go, it's so cold out there. Yeah. Please, ma'am. Please take me in. Let me warm up with some pussy real quick. Give my penis a warm place to bed down for the night. <clears throat> I sure I sure would thank you. I'd sure thank you kindly. You know? Yeah. But that's just me, though. You guys want to see um, uh, a really funny... Um, uh guy eating it yeah it's um oh fuck i can't find it now oh no is it gone shit it was awesome <laughs> well i guess you guys had to be there sorry oh sorry but i'm the, sorry can I, can I tell you something i've been into yeah um uh black guys reacting to chop suey oh nice uh can we... but i don't know if we can show that fuck i don't Damn know if it. we can play that without the uh Without getting fucking stung, you know. Like, no, not, do not do yourself a flavor and watch that because it's um, I'll, I'll try and paint a picture. It's um, <laughs> paint away, daddy o. Because a lot of these guys haven't dipped into that genre before, so you're basically seeing someone discover like a new color. Yeah, and it, it's a really beautiful thing, and it's also validating a little bit because it, it's the it's the equivalent of showing your friend a video and they love it. Well, you're like the the shit I'm into rules. I, I do that I do get that that's the allure of the black guys reacting to stuff, but I still I do still know that like you know, if if we, <laughs> if <those, laughs> if I was there like if I knew those dudes and I showed them stuff they'd be like shut the fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the dark side. That's the dark side of black guys react to videos. That like if you catch them on the street like yo love your channel dude yo I gotta tell you about uh, video game speed running they'd be like shut the fuck up. get the <laughs> yeah. about to break my foot yeah. up. you know that kind of stuff <laughs> you don't feel that way no absolutely <laughs> I, get I think that. that's so real <laughs> yeah oh, okay this uh, is the um, they're the try guys they're the try brothers do you guys <laughs> do you guys know who uh, I, I I I know this guy. Do you know who Taylor Holder and Bryce Hall are? No. Yes. I don't have any idea who they are. Um, they're, they're like uh, uh, so, uh, I, is that Tyler Holder? Um, uh, who is no, that guy? I, I know that guy. Bryce. I think this is Bryce. No, Bryce Hall is another guy. I know Bryce Hall. He he um, dipped his foot in like the influencer boxing stuff. Okay. Um, from where? He he was like a YouTube dude. He I I believe he was in like one of those hype content houses. Okay. This dude is like a pretty popular streamer, but well, I forget his name. Okay, so this guy I think Aiden is, Ross. A, yes, I believe this is Aiden Ross. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. So the guy that we're about to see, I believe, is Taylor Holder, and I don't know who any of these people are. I will just say that the guy who's actually like making not not the guy that we're looking at now. I guess that's Aiden Ross, but the guy who's make who's actually about to talk into the camera is one of the most fucked up looking people I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, Aiden, buddy, it's a pretty wild statement to make about someone as you just admitted to not even doing your research about it. Bro, look at the fucking fake teeth and the fuck me up fam haircut. Yeah. Also, this guy appears to be in his I would say late thirties. And especially believing it from someone like Bryce, considering his history. Bro, he's got, he's got the... knows everything, while you're at it, make sure you Google your good friend Bryce. Also, Bryce, isn't it a bit odd how you... Dude, he's got the Kanye West monotooth. And it's giving him a speech impediment. <laughs> yeah. You just FaceTimed me two months ago. And it's like, yo, a drama with a guy named Bryce? <laughs> Come the fuck on, man. <laughs> Come the fuck on. You needed information from me. And you told me to hit you up whenever I was in LA to link, but then you turn around and say this stuff about me. That's crazy, man. It's also sad that it's everyone crazy, out man. there in that city knows the things that you have done, but no one wants to distance themselves from you because it's not public knowledge yet. I honestly didn't expect anything less of it. You see, I've been dealing with this for over two years now, and I've been hushed by legal teams, and I've been quiet about this whole situation for way too long. It's wild that you can make such an outrageously false statement just because you're scared to fight me, and also make a comment saying you don't want to platform me but yet you never hesitated to make so many videos about me when all this stuff was getting you millions of views off of it. Look, I've already lost everything, man, so I got nothing else to lose. <laughs> I've spent so long rebuilding my entire life, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you guys come in and try to mess that up with these false rumors again. So if this is what you want to do, let's do it, big dog. Also, it's fun, the uh, the 
the version of losing everything in that world. But hey, just know they, this house yeah. rules. Yeah, and, uh, he's everything under a 20 foot done. ceiling now right now. Know exactly who you are. And remember, Bryce, I've known you for a long time. Where also, you, if you look up Bryce Hall, the, this guy looks like um, old Bryce Hall. Whoa, it's his looper. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Damn, what the hell, man? The Bryce Fall, dude. <laughs> it's the Bryce Fall. <laughs> oh, dude. So now we're so now okay, are we getting the first crop of uh what the fuck was his name? Taylor Holder. Let's see. Twenty six years. He's a million years old. He's two hundred years old in this in this space. An influencer years, yeah. And Bryce Hall is, I'm guessing, oh, 24 years. That's a lifetime. So now you've got your first, like, this is going to be our first wave of dudes aging out of content house stardom and trying to, like, remain relevant. Yeah, yeah that's what the influencer boxing is, essentially. I don't know. I feel like they, I feel like Jake Paul fucking made it kind of a hot thing, you know? Yeah, but then other people started hopping on who are just yeah. fledgling. Oh, that's nice. How far do you think we'll be able to get these guys to take it, though? Because the, I think the boxing thing might die off soon. I guess maybe they'll try they'll, MMA. Yeah, they'll get into MMA, and then they'll get into armored combat. I, I'm thinking we're going to get into the new Coliseum. Maybe. Uh, I think Jake Paul has a uh, uh, first mover advantage. Yeah. And I, I think the, the rest yeah, of these the dudes are like Android. They're saying uh, Jake Paul's not really like selling tickets or making any real money though, so I think this is going to mm. die off. I think I think these dudes on an island is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, influencer island. I think these dudes killing each other with like uh, spiked clubs. <laughs> on, yeah. uh, like, they, like they go full Lord of the Flies, dude. I think I think cruise ship in international waters, and then just a bunch of like. 25 year old dudes that are 145 pounds <laughs> just bashing each other's skulls in would be honestly it might bring television back mm -hmm. like battle royale but <laughs> with yeah influencers yeah but yeah. I, I think they would make an agreement like no face shots no fit yeah seriously you fucking don't do that dude honestly like did he do a bare knuckle boxing uh he Is might have rice hall there was a picture on that page when you scroll down and look like he did bare knuckle boxing is that him no way so he's already reached the end wow he's on that island no problem yeah Ooh. he's the fucking cruise director dude imagine getting to produce this man whoa all right i guess yeah these guys go for we it. can't fucking show this whole thing but jesus dude yeah that's that's tough that's tough you're oh man i i is this the price of being the fucking hottest boy ever? No, because if he was the hottest boy ever, he'd fucking be at the top. Well, okay, so then it, I, something is happening. There's a there's something there's something bad going on because Ryan Garcia is now uh, schizophrenic and yeah. So what's happening with him? Okay, so Ryan Garcia has been uh, it, it descending into uh, like the like slurred speech schizophrenia and i've i've seen this happen in people before actually we know a guy who came in here well, first i'll tell you what ryan garcia is doing he's he's uh going on like twitter spaces and like making audio recordings where he's like bro they held me down and made me watch them rape little boys at bohemian grove and then he's like i was i was uh, uh i was raped as a two-year-old like he's Hmm. he's flying off the handle uh and it's like the 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 conviction with he's he's just like rattling off like these wild claims and the conviction the conviction is so real that like it makes anybody second guess themselves and there there's like i don't know if there's a cure i think you're just gone i think you're just gone forever he's look here we go i found one sorry the vatican before <laughs> yeah, proof I have proof that Bibi Natiani wanted to have a meeting with me, and my friend right here can confirm. Can you confirm that Bibi wanted a meeting? Just facts. There you go. Facts. <laughs> As your lawyer, I must lie. advise facts. I'm just here to tell everybody, yo, this is the truth. Like, have I been to the Vatican before? <laughs> Did they let me into the back room? Fa facts are not facts. Damn. Have I been to the Vatican before? Okay. I don't lie. I don't need a lie. What would be the point of me lying? 
He's got a point. There's absolutely no point of me lying. Mimi Netanyahu wants to meet me. <laughs> Mimi Netanyahu. Yeah, dude, he, I, it's, it's so I'm clear. Meet him, and I'm gonna call for peace. <laughs> Damn, but what if he gets it? So yeah, so the delusions of grandeur thing. But we know a guy. We, we. I don't want to. I don't want to out anybody because this is what we're talking about is a psychotic episode. But we know a guy who was uh, me, me and Danny. I'm talking specifically about he was he would go from normal conversation, like goofing around, catching up, and he would be like you wouldn't even notice the the change, and he would be saying shit like so so he'd be saying like oh yeah you know I've been I've been working uh, at wherever and it's been going good my boss is annoying my uh my ex-girlfriend uh and the government put a program on my computer that installs child porn and you go what and he goes dude i've been and i've been calling city hall every day and they won't do anything about it and you're just like what <laughs> he's like i'm telling you dude and the one lady got back to me and she said like yeah I, I shouldn't really tell you this but like the fbi is involved so just maybe sit on it for a while and it's like no way. And, and then he would flip back to just like, but yeah, it was, uh, my brother moved. Um, I don't know if you remember where he, he was out in Ben Salem before and then he moved and dude, it's, cr yeah. it's crazy. It's the scariest thing ever. Yeah. So sometimes they could just snap. Uh, uh, I knew a dude who smoked that shit K2 all the time. And then that he had like, uh, I, I feel like some people had the door cracked to, uh, like schizophrenia or whatever. And then certain things just, kick the door open usually drugs yeah, yeah. and uh the, the saddest part too was he just loved weed but he had a uh, preacher dad mm. so he, his his dad would drug test him all the time so he's like i'm gonna do k2 because that doesn't show up and then it it fried his brain did he ever come back no he's still fried he's still figuring out the balance of medications really yeah but yeah, it was a very similar thing where it was like casual conversation, and I was in the car with him, and he's like, "Someone's following us." Yeah, <laughs> he would just hit the gas. Dude, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I wonder, I wonder how common it is for people to deal with these. Because I, I think I, I probably, I can off the top of my head, I know of two or three, and if I rack my brain, I could probably find a couple more. Yeah, and I like, I don't know. <coughs> I guess you just fucking tranquilize them. You just fucking shoot a dart. I feel like it's like any other organ. Like, cause like, you know how families will deal with like heart disease? Yeah. My brain or my family, it's the brain. It just pops one day. Yeah. Like I had an aunt, normal person just, you know, worked a government job, but like worked for the city. And then out of nowhere, she lost it and drove her car until it ran out of gas and then started sprinting on the highway and got smoked by a truck. Jeez. And this was like, going back, you saw small glimpses over the course of like maybe two months. And then I think, I don't know what happened, one major thing, and she just completely switched her shit. They went into her house and they found that she burned every electronic in her bathtub. Did you ever think about bare knuckle boxing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Whoa, she man. just like snapped one day. That's crazy. This is my new. Yeah. This is anybody, my biggest fear. My biggest fear is that my brain's gonna go. That's been my yeah. big fear for yeah. a while. It's That's the only fear left. I fear no animal. I could fight any any animal in the entire world. Uh, I don't fear uh, firearms. I'm invincible. The uh, FBI knows where my car is at all times, and I'm afraid, and the, the only thing I'm left afraid of is my brain. No. You know what's the saddest one? My cousin, coolest guy I knew, hot guy, jock, had a Mustang in high school, got all the pussy, his brain popped. No! And he's still living with it. Like, he's a schizophrenic, he just smokes cigarettes all day, and fucking Damn, has to be monitored. Does he wear crazy clothes? He'll wear anything. Like, he doesn't have, yeah. like, a, awesome. there's no, like, he doesn't make a choice. He, you know what I mean? Yeah, like rain boots and, like, a vest. Yeah, like, he's never picked <laughs> out an outfit. That's what I want to do. The, there's an element of it that but is nice. But it was nice. so sad because, like, damn, dude, he got a lot of pussy. It snapped his brain. Yeah. It may have. The, uh, the There's a dementia and Alzheimer's that runs in my family. Ugh. And uh, I'm a bit nervous about it, but also at the same time, they... 
it, it was kind of sick that my pup up went out just thinking like banana. Yeah. <laughs> like he wasn't thinking about missing anything. Yeah. Do you think, I wonder if it's like your, your brain shutting down before your body, you know, where it's just like, yeah. So you don't have to experience, but I want to experience death. I want to like, I want to, really? I want to, yeah, dude, I want to, I want to cross the bridge. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to have like a death ritual if possible, or at least like some sort of preparation for it. So that when the lights go out, I want to be like, hell yeah, dude. Nice. You know, mm. do you think, but do you think that that happened with him? I, yeah. And then for some reason, his brain, he just kept operating. Yeah. You know uh, what I mean, I like, like he could have already crossed the bridge. Maybe. And then this is Ooh. just like a vessel wandering around. It, God is ghost riding his body. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I like that a lot. It's like one of those. That's uh, my assumption. Yeah. Maybe. That's why he has no idea what's going on or who's anybody. True, and they're just remembering the good old days because it's like uh, here, here's just like a little slideshow. Of, like here's a little bit of like. jazz. I'm assuming he was an old black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I used to mess with him because I didn't realize how severe it was. <laughs> oh, did you? How fucked up would you be? I'm uh, the police! I'm the police! <laughs> <laughs> Open the fucking door! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Robert. Just kidding, Papa <laughs> It's Robert. Ah. I, uh, yeah, how far would you he, take he it? Had, he had thick veins <laughs> and like <laughs> tight, <flick> tight <laughs> loose, loose but tight skin. Mm. And uh, I, I would go into the nursing home and be like, pop up, you got worms in your hands. And he'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that, was my, <laughs> that was my favorite one. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> you were a bad kid. I didn't know what Alzheimer's I... was. I was like seven. I was like, he, he's just fucking loopy. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he he was like starting to go. I only knew him like for uh, I only remember one year of him being like with it. Yeah. And then like the rest, he would like come to my house. I was like taking a piss. He would like knock the door in. He was like ah. I was like pop up no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh and then I remember him. Uh, we went into his like apartment. It was just like him there. All the lights were off, and he was just like making food. <laughs> What's and up? then he was in a nursing home. And then I remember Jamaican ladies telling me I had nice eyes. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. and you do. Damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Whoa. And, uh, oh man, yeah. Do you think they were abusing your pop up? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a good one because he mm. he was uh he, he he had the bag secured. Yeah, do you, the, the bag was secured. <laughs> Did he ever try to fuck them? Probably he was a pussy ant. Really? He was like he yeah. thought it, he thought it was the Roaring Twenties, dude. He thought they were fucking black jazz waitresses. Probably. <laughs> Damn, he, that's pretty sick. That, that yeah. doesn't seem so bad then. No, it's a, I'm saying it's not would, the worst thing. But then your grandson would come in and fucking scare you until you had worms in your body. <laughs> he, the, he uh, yeah, he he, he seemed cool, but like him? a wild dude. Mm. He he used to have a, a hardware store called Kessler Supply on Gerard. Okay, and he was like killing it. It was like an empire, and then it got taken down because like back in the day you could do tax evasion and yeah, all that yeah, shit, yeah. and no one knew. And then like computers started, <laughs> and then, and then the, they got the taken. First down. year the IRS had a computer, it was over for him. Yeah. I, I I had a a friend of mine in high school had a, a dementia grandmother that lived in his. Uh, duplex home Ooh. in northeast Philly Ooh. and he to get a laugh out of me he would say really really fucked up stuff and mm -hmm. this, this is dark he would <laughs> he would stay he would say stuff like hey grandma I'm gonna go get my dick sucked and she would just be like okay like she was so far gone she wouldn't it, none of it would register mm -hmm. I hope none of it would register imagine if you're just like you're a prisoner in your mind like you want to say the right thing, but what comes out is just like fucking you know Garfield quotes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I hate and Mondays. <laughs> yeah, and your and your grandson, you know, the 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 future of your bloodline is just going like, hey, grandma, uh, I'm gonna go get fucked in my ass. I love I love eating cum and sucking <laughs> cock. I'm just kidding, grandma. I'm fuck you. <laughs> and I'd be dying. <laughs> yeah, and then the 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 real grandma can only see it through like a mist. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She's in. She's behind the diamond glass in the Fortress of Solitude, just no! watching this all take place. No! Dude, I'm seriously. I'm rolling around on the ground, literally in IRL, <laughs> raffling, dude. <laughs> you're raffling. As he's saying, Grandma, I, your pussy stinks. <laughs> she's holding a slipper in her mind to beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> it just can't come out. You think that's what it's like? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Damn, Damn yes. it's like you, you it's like you just realized that there it's two-way glass and someone's looking at you and you're looking at them and you're like ah! <laughs> You 
you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Did, do you guys worry about being abused as an elder? Mm, no, I don't think I've ever thought of it. Be, a, really. People really don't give a fuck about old people for the most part. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, I I don't know. Try me. You know, <laughs> beat my ass. Yeah. I, I hope. What a privilege it would be as a frail old man waiting to cross the bridge if just some big titted Jamaican lady beat the fuck mm -hmm. out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because you wouldn't yeah. roll over fast enough for your sponge bath. Oh my bath. god, dude! Imagine if she just held me down and she's doing like little punches in my face, hoping not to bruise me mm -hmm. so no one notices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beating your ribs up, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, You're like that. <laughs> holy, yeah, pay extra. If you could find a place with a Jamaican lady to do that for me, I mean, I'll, I'll surrender myself now, you know? <laughs> yeah, facts. Bumba claw, old man. But if it's, a, if it's a stinky, weird guy, don't let him touch me. What if it's a stinky, right. weird black guy? Double. <laughs> All right. Let's, <laughs> let's, take, yeah, let's, take, let's take a little break, and then we'll head over to, uh, we're going to continue for another hour with our, our dear friend, Rob Cruz. Woo! Uh, Thank you for having me, baby. Thanks please, for coming on, Rob. Please listen to Do Rag and the Deer Tag, and uh, you can come see Rob and I together on the road. Yes, uh, March twenty uh, eighth and 29th. We're in Connecticut and then Boston, and the shows are in the process of selling out. Right, it's you're gonna run out of time, and then that's it. I can't add any more of these fucking things, dude. Go to timbardily.com for dates and tickets. Also, I'm headlining Soul Joel's in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Let's go. That's May 18th. Again, you can go on, on my uh, page there and, and get a ticket to it. I'm, and I'm not doing much headlining in the area at all in the uh, that I can foresee. I'm getting out on the fucking road. I can't wait. I have a place. I have a fucking weekend that I can't say yet, but I hope it's just one of many that I get to fucking drop at the same time but let's go yeah we're finally going to the northwest let's so go. sick rob tell him tell him do you have any live shows coming up um the the yeah the next two i have with you uh connecticut boston and then uh in april uh check out do rag and the deer tag on instagram that we're going to mississippi Ooh. and mike rainey's gonna be with us and i think that's it hell yeah yeah all right gang from from here, from deep in the heart of Good Boys. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. We need an update on Noah's painting. Okay. Oh, dude, th oh, this yeah. looks so good. Thank you, thank you. I'm working on it. It's Timothy Birmingham uh, just realizing that his wife was not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. That's incredible, dude. I think this might be the best one. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I'm working on it. Whoa, I can't wait till your gallery opening. This is going to be Me magical. too. This is going to be pretty epic, I think. <laughs> Dang. Go over. Yeah, look how upset he is. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't a nap. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes. Oh, uh, from crying. crying. Bloodshot cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Bloodshot nose because he's a fucking alcoholic. I get spotted from a mile away. <laughs> Meet us over at patreon.com slash Tim Bartley to, to, to see how much life Noah can squeeze into this and death before the uh, before our time is over. Mm -hmm. Um, from from deep in the heart of Good Boy Studios, thank you guys for joining us. We'll we'll see you over. We'll see you over on the Patreon. Thank you.